Configuring NOAA for Shoebox Connection Shoebox can successfully integrate with NOAA versions 4.9.1 or later. You can check which version of NOAA you have installed by opening NOAA, clicking on the Help menu, then selecting About NOAA. This will display a small dialog window with the NOAA version information. If your NOAA installation is on a version prior to 4.9.1, you'll need to first upgrade NOAA before completing any additional setup. You can download the NOAA upgrade package from the HIMSA website, which is listed in the description box below. Shoebox makes use of the NOAA integration feature called NOAA Mobile. Unless you're already using modules that use this feature, it is likely that this has not yet been configured for your NOAA installation. The following steps will guide you through the NOAA Mobile setup process. First, from within NOAA, click the Setup menu item. Select Administration and then NOAA Mobile Configuration. This will bring up a configuration window. Within the configuration window, click to enable both Enable NOAA Mobile on your network and Enable NOAA Mobile over the internet. This is how Shoebox connects. Completing this will cause the Support Email field to become enabled. Click Change to set an email for NOAA to use when communicating about support issues. Next is setting up your NOAA Mobile alias. This alias is the name you'll use to uniquely identify your NOAA database. It's a good idea to make sure this name is something simple that you'll remember. One possible option is to use your clinic name. Click Add to enter the alias of your choice and then OK to confirm. NOAA will then take a few minutes to confirm that the name you've chosen hasn't already been used by another user. If it's OK, you'll be on to the next step. Otherwise, you may be asked to choose another name. Once you've set and confirmed your NOAA mobile alias, you can click OK on the NOAA mobile configuration window to finish the configuration steps. Completing that will cause another window to be displayed requesting that you read and agree it to NOAA's Data Security Access Agreement. Selecting the country you're doing business in from the drop-down at the top of the window will cause the correct agreement to be displayed. Once you've read and agreed, you can then fill out the fields below it. Click to accept the agreement and then save. A copy of this agreement will then be emailed to the email you entered above. If you followed these steps to the end, then your NOAA installation is now set up and configured to use NOAA Mobile. Next, you have to configure your users. NOAA usually comes with two default users, ABC and ADM. However, these users don't provide the level of security that is required for use with NOAA Mobile. If you haven't already set up your own administrative user with an enabled password, you'll need to do that now. From within NOAA, click the Setup menu item, select Administration, and then User Administration. This will bring up a User Administration window listing the current available users. To create a new user, click the New button and then proceed to fill in the user details in the window that is displayed. Make sure the user level is set to Administrator. The very first time you connect to NOAA from your Shoebox device, you'll need to make sure you provide these administrative credentials. If you would like to use lower level user credentials for subsequent connections, you can set up additional users and set their user level to either level 1 or level 2. If you're not sure what name to give the administrative user, we suggest using Shoebox. This will provide you with an easy to remember name while also giving you a clear view from within NOAA of which test results were gathered on your Shoebox device. Any questions or issues regarding your NOAA software should be directed to HIMSA support or your local provider who maintains your office management software.